the cooks, emerged from the woods, where they had spent the night hiding in terror. By mid-October, it was reported in the news that many black homes had been torched and razed to the ground, along with five churches where black people worshipped. The exiled literally had no place to return to. By burning their churches, the Night Riders struck at the very heart of the spiritual and social fabric of Oscarville's black community. Fuck! Let's stop. Let's pause it. Look at their tactics. And you know, them all the racist human beings is vibrating low. I don't fuck with them. Somebody say, you say, yeah, I don't like racist ass human beings is vibrating low. I have no problem with the human beings vibrating high. Because guess what? Even then, in that time, you had human beings that was vibrating high and they wasn't with that shit. It's always been duality all through history, nigga. How you think niggas was getting away doing the Underground Railroad? How you think niggas was getting hit? It ain't never just been all human beings. But it's been a majority of their ass. But not all. So I can't take it out on all. Just like all gods ain't roll with us, nigga. It's hella stories in history where black people, they motherfucking went back and told the masses some shit and fucked up the whole revolt. We finna revolt. Yo bitch ass ran back and told some shit, fucked the whole revolt up. Go read about Gabriel Prosser. I know my history, do you know yours though? This is what I do. So my rage is righteous rage. I'll hide just paused it for a reason, though, to all the Christians out there. I've been telling motherfuckers, nigga, boy, they didn't give a fuck if you was in church, boy, they would come in that bitch and burn your ass in front of your kids. This is exactly why we ain't finna show no motherfucking mercy to y'all ass right now, nigga. Facts. Boy, just like they would have tried to hurt me for no reason. Y'all know my case. I ain't got one. They made some shit up because I'm doing this, waking motherfuckers up, nigga. But I had the ancestors not moved me, moved us, we wouldn't have known shit, nigga. You think they wouldn't have cared about it? You think the marshals and the police don't care about shit? Nigga, they had shoot the fuck out of me in front of my kids, nigga, and my wife, nigga. No different than back in the day. Oh, you want to be that outspoken nigga, huh? We going to bring you in front of the whole... And they know y'all watching me too. We going to make an example out of Rashad Jamal. No, the fuck y'all ain't. What y'all going to do is start a whole motherfucking war around this bitch, nigga. I know who I am. I know this is our land. And I know why y'all came in me. Like I know why y'all come in my people. I know why they pull black people carbonated beans over and shoot y'all and arrest y'all and fuck with y'all. Why they drug the food. Why they fluoride the water, nigga. Read history. You ain't got to go back that far. You ain't got to know none of the cosmic shit I'm telling you. Just go basic history, nigga. Nigga, they said they burnt down five churches. Why? Because they knew this would strike at the spiritual source of the community. That let you know right there, nigga, Jesus ain't real, nigga. That let you know right there, nigga, what church was all about. To make your ass passive, nigga. Before church, we was fucking shit up around this bitch. Then they came with that church shit. So worship your slave masters. It's okay because Jesus suffered so you can suffer like him. He died for your sins so you should suffer like he did and you'll get your heaven after you leave. Nigga, fuck the heaven after we leave, nigga. We want heaven right here, right now. Fuck, we got to leave for to get some, some peace around this bitch, nigga. They burnt churches. They did more than that. Don't forget who telling the story here. You can't never expect no human being to tell you the truth about you. Don't forget who telling the story here. He's still like, he's still, he's still laying it on light, nigga. Y'all better go read Uncle Tom's Cabin. And then you wonder why I be like that with them. Why I be on that energy with the races and the elites. Why I'm on that energy with 12, nigga. Smoking dead cops. You goddamn right, nigga. 
Give a fuck what color you is, nigga. You a op if you behind that badge, nigga. Because I know what that badge really mean. I know who the laws was made for. Me and my motherfucking people. But niggas walking around thinking they free. Now imagine that. Nigga, we was going to church and everything, niggas. And y'all, niggas wasn't even safe in the church. And then you wonder why when Hurricane Harvey hit Joel Osteen, this is the thing that gets to me. Y'all try to talk about ISIS wisdom, Kali, even Pharaoh, me, or anybody in, the, in what y'all call the conscious community, that if they do make any type of dollars. But you ain't said shit about Joel Osteen, though. Because the last time I checked, ain't nobody made more money off black people than Joel Osteen and Jesus. And when Joel Osteen made billions off of our black people, nigga, when Hurricane Harvey hit, he wouldn't even open the doors. People forget about that. I don't. I take it personal. That's why I go out my way to remind motherfuckers, remember who you are. Nigga, remember, remember who they is. Nigga, they ain't never changed. Only motherfucker changes us. Nigga, they the ops. Niggas been up there with they ass generation after generation, nigga. So why the fuck this generation want to be so soft, nigga? Now it gets to this generation, niggas want to blame each other. Oh, you know, black people, they own worst enemy. I snap your motherfucking neck with my bare hands, nigga. I ain't trying to hear nothing from none of you house Negroes to be. Oh, why he, he, he talks with all, he full of rage. You goddamn right I am, nigga. Look what they did to my people and still do it. And niggas want to be nice. Ain't no other way to feel about this shit, nigga. Ain't no other way to feel, nigga. I'm killing kids, they kids and all, nigga. Anything vibrating low, nigga. Ain't nobody safe, nigga. Was our kids safe? Did they give a damn about our women, nigga? Our kids, no, nigga. So what the fuck I'm showing mercy for? Then you bitch ass niggas want to get on my life. He just said, he, you got that right, I'm going to kill the kids, nigga. Every motherfucking kid in the house, if I come up on your motherfucking house, and you on that low vibration, nigga. It's war, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You send the marshals, nigga. You make a case, nigga. It's, it's war with me. I ain't honoring shit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I will leave this motherfucking avatar, nigga, before I be a slave around this bitch, nigga. Y'all can have that shit, nigga. Because I know after this world, I am forever free, nigga. Finna be nice. Did you hear what he just told your ass, nigga? They burnt the churches down too, nigga. Once again, you know they took the land. But is it sinking in your soul how they took our land? You goofy ass house Negroes, I me. Mean, he cap. What's cap about riding for your people, nigga? You's a bitch, nigga. And your mama that raised you. You can sit on the internet and jump in these real life things. Nigga, we talking real shit, nigga. We, we, nigga, we lost billions of us, nigga. They didn't just take our land, nigga. They took our dignity, our essence, nigga. Our culture, nigga. We don't even love ourselves no more around this bitch. But you got the audacity to get in the live and say some shit, cap, nigga. You are Uncle Tom. That's what you is. We not in here playing. And I bet you wouldn't say that to my face. If I'm giving this lecture in real life time and you said that, boy, I will blow your motherfucking brains out your head. Chop your body up. Take my time, nigga. Piece by piece. I'm not playing when it comes to my people, nigga. I know what they did to us, nigga. You could not give a fuck because you's a bitch. 
You don't stand for nothing, nigga. If that shit don't move your soul, nigga, you don't stand for nothing. Fuck is you breathing for? You don't think it was no kids in the church? You don't think motherfuckers in there? They, yeah, niggas, was, niggas ran to the church for safety. After they took their homes, they ran to the church. The same church they, they slave masters gave them. Thinking Jesus was going to save them. Ran in the church and still got killed. Still got raped. Still got burnt alive in the church, nigga. Boy, they used to take us, nigga. They used to hang us at high noon, nigga. It's pictures, nigga. Of a thousand white racists, nigga. I hang your bitch ass at high noon, nigga. All in the name of they Jesus. When the KKK came, nigga, they had a cross, nigga. A burning cross, nigga. Burnt your ass to the cross. All in the name of they Jesus. And y'all bitch ass want to keep working for them, nigga. Want to keep kissing they ass, nigga. You a disgrace to our whole motherfucking race. Like I told this police officer to live next bitch ass house, nigga. I told his ass the same shit, nigga. Give a fuck if you got a badge, nigga. You black, nigga. You place the badge before your people? Well, you gonna die with that motherfucker, nigga. Fuck out of here, man. Straight up. Niggas don't know history. Niggas don't stand for nothing but they self. Niggas selfish. That's why it don't affect you. They took our land, took everything from us. Play it back. You heard what he said, nigga. You heard exactly what he said. You ain't hearing wrong. And it get worse than that. Along with five churches where black people worshipped, the exiled literally had no place to return to. By burning their churches, the Knight Riders struck at the very heart of the spiritual and social fabric of Oscarville's black community. By late October, violent means were no longer necessary. All it took was for the Knight Riders to leave a tied up bundle of sticks on the cabin's front porch in the morning, and the family who dwelled there would be gone by sundown. Such was the depth of their terror. The white farmers who remained in Oscarville went on to prosper after the racial cleansing of 1912. Look, look, look. Hold on. You already said. Hold on. The white farmers who stayed in Oscarsville, they went on to prosper. Of course they did. You just eradicated the whole motherfucking species that was living there, nigga. Then look at them. Sitting there smiling like they ain't did nothing. Like they ain't did nothing. Now, where you think they key is at today? They still here. They got descendants too, nigga. Shit ain't no motherfucking game. It's in game, nigga. That's the only game it is, nigga. It's in game, nigga. Now get caught in the crosshairs if you want to play out here, nigga. We ain't playing. After the racial cleansing of 1912. In fact, they were so successful that Oscarville was one of the few farming communities to survive both the Great Depression and the Bull Weevil attacks. Check them out. Boy, they took so much shit from with that. We're just talking about Oscarville now. They took so much shit. You heard they just said, boy, even when Great Depression hit, them niggas still was getting it in down there, nigga, down here in Georgia. Nigga, they was good off. That's how. Now, they, but that's just Oscarville. Boy, that's every city, state, town, municipality around this bitch. Boy, got that same story. They took the land. Our land. Our planet. Lord, our frequency. We Atlanteans. Anunnaki gods, goddesses, royalty. We ain't honoring shit no more from these bitches, man. Y'all tripping. That had plagued the area since 1915. However, the fact that Oscarville primarily comprised farming land made it a target for developers who wanted to create a water supply for the fast-growing Atlanta metro. All but five residents were asked to sell their land to the government for this project. In 1947, a deal was struck between the Chamber of Commerce and the Industrial Bureau for the construction of the Buford Dam, which took four years to complete. And by 1959, Lake Lanier was filled for the first time. By this time, the farming town that was Oscarville had completely disappeared, only living on via a handful of old maps, archived newspaper articles, and local oral history. 
About 1,100 people lost their livelihoods and their homes during the 1912 racial cleansing of Oscarville. A few families sold their properties for dirt cheap. Look for the first time. Look at that. Now, if this is a fucking lake now, you would never have known it was a town full of us living there. You would have never known that if you don't know that. Just look at it. Now, imagine how many more lakes you go past every day. Just imagine how many more lakes you go past every day. We better get your bitch ass off my live talking about stop chewing. Take your bitch ass to a whole nother live segment. Fuck you mean stop chewing. Get your goofy ass out of here, smoothie. Now, imagine if chew what the fuck I want to chew around this bitch. Nigga, I'm hungry. What you talking about, nigga? Fuck who come out? Just you said, nah. Say some more shit, nah. I'm keep chewing. Fuck what you talking about? Stop being a house nigga. How about that? Stop being a, a coward. How about that? Fuck what you talking about? Stop being a coward. Stop moving like a whole bitch out here, nigga. You ain't got no nuts. Hear me? fuck is wrong with you now imagine y'all if you ain't know imagine how many more lakes you ride past and you thinking they natural that's the point i'm trying to make imagine how many more lakes they not telling you about did you think lakes all these oceans now if that's under the lake what the fuck you think is under the oceans the rivers What you think I'm trying to point to? Do you say your whole life a lot? No, we ain't have no rivers and all that shit, nigga. We had seas. Every place you see a lake and shit. That's all that shit, man, man. Even the five great lakes, boy. Them was, they put, you know how many bodies they put in Lake Michigan? Them was all the, the, the whole Illinois Confederacy, boy. Dead bodies make up the five great lakes. Come on, man. You don't know how deep this shit run, nigga. Come on, man. All these oceans, man. Who you think at the bottom of them oceans, man? They ain't gonna tell you that. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that. I'm using this one example. Now, people in Georgia knew that. But that still should amaze the fuck out of you. Like, Joe, look at it. Look how they did it. You would never know. Look at it. It's all beautiful and shit. You're like, oh, that's beautiful. So if this is beautiful, how many more tourist attractions they showing you that's really not tourist attractions? I ain't telling you to do nothing. But use some insight right now. Look at how beautiful the backdrop is. Now, how many more places you go on this planet with beautiful lakes and meadows and mountain views? If you only knew they took the land from us, man, and how they took it from us, man. They ain't just do that down no Oscarville, Georgia, nigga. Everywhere, nigga. Every city, every state, every great lake, nigga. Oceans, nigga. That's why it's in game now. Oh, man, we on to the next real quick, man. Real quick, man. Then they want to tell you shit like this. You know, they, they run across this shit all day, y'all. So we claim that free business profile on Google. Yeah. They not surprised, nigga. This shit is they this is every apartment, nigga. When I say we everywhere, we everywhere. Oh, I say friends all the time. Listen to this. Look at this apartment complex in Tampa. Look at that. Just in the areas that we've scanned, but we believe that is the case under the actual buildings itself. The, the Tampa, let's read it. The Tampa Housing Authority directed private archaeologists to investigate whether the graves remain on this land. Look how they neighborhood look. 
Hold on, y'all, look how the neighborhood look. You would never think this was nothing but graveyards and bodies that they built over. The results on this map, GPR testing returned the reflections of buried rectangular objects that are the... All these graves, boy, it's more than that. But you would never think that. This is an apartment complex in Tampa. And they still light saucing you. They're still light saucing you. They still light saucing it. Mommy, I made this live for a reason. This shit should get your soul ready for this end game where we going with this revolution right now, nigga. Come on, man. That's just them showing that apartment. Boy, the apartment complex you live in is all buried over, built over bodies. It was, it was trillions of us. Boy, we went to war with their ass. Boy, a lot of us lost our avatar, man. Our ancestors died fighting their ass. That's why they hide the grave sites. Do you get it now? To make sure you never fight against their ass again. That should, that should touch your soul right now, man. We're going we gonna to do a one-minute break, man. Let, let that marinate on niggas' souls, man. I don't think y'all letting that shit marinate. Niggas can't be letting it marinate, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You should be sitting back right now like, damn, hold on. I mean, I knew we were slaves and shit, but hold on. You telling me, nigga, that even my house right now, our house, yes, built over us. Because we was everywhere. We were everywhere. This is our land. What do you think that mean? When I say your ancestors fought and died, nigga, so we wouldn't live like this today. For niggas to bow down and kiss their ass today because you scared to die, but your ancestors died for you. Even the ones that died trying to vote, nigga. Now that we know voting ain't, ain't, ain't nothing, but you still can't take away they fight. Niggas marched, got their ass whooped, got hung. That's why I say, I don't give a fuck a nigga try to say King was gay. I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker sexual preference is. You can't take that that man got his ass whooped for us, man. Got killed for us, nigga. Come on, man. You missing the bigger point, man. And that's just them, nigga. You know what I mean? If us that wasn't big speakers that died, nigga. This is a generational curse that we got to break. Boy, it's grave sites for a motherfucking reason because our ancestors wasn't no bitches, nigga. Wasn't no fear there. Y'all finna take what land? It's busting. What's up? <laughs> Over our dead bodies, literally, nigga. You don't have to kill a motherfucker, nigga. We ain't giving up shit. And you better believe a lot of they ass died too. That's why they don't never want to go to war with us again on that level. These last, since the 60s, nigga, 70s, 80s, 90s, it ain't been that long. These last 40, 50 years been the best years of their fucking life. What? Because we've been giving them hell every decade. And now we back. And you got a, a motherfucker like me fully woke, like at the forefront of this shit. So you, now, you, now you see why in Georgia, they want me. They don't bullshit with me for no reason. Boy, y'all gonna have to kill me down here in Georgia, boy. Like my ancestors, nigga. That's a fact, boy. I ain't falling. I ain't going for nothing that ain't righteous. I ain't got to prove nothing to no court of law. I ain't got to answer to no judge. Who? What judge? Nigga, you ain't the judge of me. Nigga, my ancestors judge me, nigga. Not, not you. Give a fuck what military you want to send through, nigga. Send them, nigga. Come on, man. Think I'm going to stop doing this? No, I'm not. Nigga. And the world gonna know what it was about. He got in a big ass fight with their ass. They came at him and his family because he waking motherfuckers up like they did any motherfucker throughout history. Anytime we get a, a black owned business, anytime we get like this, a university, man, we this is success to them. This is a big ass platform. We waking up, we coming together. It's positive frequency. Yeah, we gotta get him out the way. No, you ain't gonna get me out the way. No, you ain't. You gotta go through them first. And then once you go through them, you got to go through me. And then if it's meant for me to go back to that form, you better know I will. And you still ain't going to change the message, nigga, which is to rise and fuck the whole system. Nigga, it's our planet. That ain't changing under no circumstances, nigga.
Nigga, I could be on my last breath. Nigga, they could say, what's your last words? Now we rise. Fuck out of here, nigga. Come on, man. This is what they do to us. See? They did it like that in the 60s. That's why I said I'm not beefing with no YouTubers, nigga. Are we waking up now, y'all? All these content creators and niggas want to beef with each other, nigga. What? That's how you know they don't got no real history. You, you, what did you didn't learn from the sixties? We finally got some unity. You got all these different content creators speaking facts, and you got niggas saying my name every two seconds, nigga. You, come on, man. I just seen a demigod that he said my name. Get your little white ass out of here, nigga. You little racist. Don't be trying to post no demigod saying my name every video. All these, oh, you got a whole system to attack. You want to steady attack me with every YouTube video? Are you serious? Are you serious? So I know who you work for. You got niggas out here working spells against the university. Get y'all goofy ass out of here. You think it's going to work? If you want to work some spells, nigga, you got a whole enemy to work against. So you ain't in this fight with us. You, you trying to beef with a nigga for some views. But what about this, though? What about them, though? What about them? Oh, that don't, that don't matter to you, but you are the sin of the mock. You chief Anu. You a, a, a true demigod. You a pharaoh. You a fuck out of here with all that goofy shit. Nigga, what about them? Nigga, we supposed to come together. Nigga, fuck all that goofy shit, nigga. Fuck the goofy shit, nigga. Let's unite, nigga. Let's unite, nigga. And tear this bitch up. Right. Niggas don't want to do that because it's easier to make videos about each other. Y'all some bitches, nigga. I bet not ever catch one of you niggas in traffic, nigga. Y'all don't mean our species no good, nigga. It's real historical shit that they went down, nigga, that we need to be fighting for right now, nigga. We rising. We waking up. We ain't been in this position in a long time. And niggas want to niggas wanna jeopardize it again, beefing with each other, nigga. I know you ain't learned from the 60s, nigga. You don't know shit about Cointel Pro. That's what they want us to do. Sit here and make videos about each other, attack each other because they know we rising. Fuck out of here, peanut gallery ass, fake ass. That's what you call fake woke. A fake woke motherfucker is a person that genuinely wants to make they, every missile they shoot the beef with their own, nigga, when we got a whole enemy to hit, nigga. It's a whole, it's a whole, nigga, it's a whole, it's a whole army we got to muscle up with, nigga. You better save that energy for them because you going to need it. Because the niggas we up against ain't no, they ain't no bitches. They not no cowards. Don't you see us laying right there? Right, you see us right there. You see they built shit over us, nigga. Right, they gangsters, nigga. They gangsters. So any energy we got right now, we need to be saving for they ass. Nigga. And don't send me no video that a nigga that said about me or somebody else. Because that means you still the ops. Come on, man. This shit real. Come on, man. We finally get some unity back and niggas want to jag it off again. Like, like the government ain't going to come for you next. After you help the government get rid of these other big movements that's out here on, the, on YouTube right now. Because that's how they look at it. It's like the 60s to them. Oh, fuck. We got NAACP. We got the Fruit of Islam. We got the Crips and the Bloods and the GDs and the Latin Kings and the Vice Lords. We got, that's how every content creator who has an audience looks to the fucking CIA. They like, oh, okay. We got, I know what we gotta do. And niggas wanna fall for it. Come on, man. We up against some real giants, nigga. Why? Cause they ain't forgot shit. We remembering, they ain't forgot nothing though. So they already ready for us. Do that mean we ain't gonna lose? But what I'm saying is, we in a real slug fight. Niggas ain't got no time to be wasting no jabs on nothing else. This is going to be a 15 round battle, nigga. We ain't got no, you, if you got time to throw a jab at the next nigga, you on you, that mean you ain't fighting with us. Who you for? Yourself or the people? You ain't for the people. Because anybody that's woke don't want to see no motherfuckers with big platforms beefing amongst each other. Because the woke people is the individuals that get in our YouTubes and get in our lectures. They know what the fuck going on. So they said, oh, come on, man, what the fuck is y'all on, man? Come on, here we go, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, dawg. Come on, y'all. We just did this in the 60s. 
We just lost this in the 60s and went through four four decades of bullshit. Four, four, five, 50 years, nigga, to get back right here. Niggas want to jag it again. Come on, man. Niggas ain't real. Niggas, it's for they self and for views, nigga. I'm saving up for the battle, nigga. I ain't thinking about no views, nigga. This real shit that they did to us, man. They took our land, man. Same size and shape as coffins within the boundary of what uh, was the former Zion Cemetery as marked historically. Um, in all, we have approximately 126 total. Some of the, and this is just in the portion that we surveyed, based on maps as they were made and plans. Look at that. Check this out, y'all. You see the way the black guy just reacted? He lives there. He lived there, y'all. He like, what the fuck? Look at him. When they told him how many graves it was under his house and under they under their neighborhood. Look at this. Six total. Some of the and this is just in the portion that we surveyed, based on maps as they were. <laughs> Look at all them graves that was under their complex. Remember, this in Tampa, y'all. They live right here. 126 graves. It was more than that. It's more than that. They ain't gonna never tell you the truth. If they said it's 126, they get 900. But look how he felt. He was like, okay, maybe a grave or two. No, in total, we so far we found 126 graves under y'all apartment complex. Motherfucker, that, that fuck, that's fucking me up and I don't even live there. You would never think that, would you? You wouldn't think they got 126 graves under there. Next slide. You see what I'm saying? Next slide. You see what I'm saying? Next exhibit. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? They took the land, man. I ain't trying to hear shit about nothing else, man. If you ain't trying to war with these people for taking the land, I ain't trying to talk about it. I ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say, man.